How to find and edit the CSS in our templates. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the CSS that you're looking for in the template and how to edit it. So right now we are looking at our Quix template and I'm using Firefox. You can use Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, and most current browsers have a very cool thing in them and that's called Inspector and it's made for web developers. If you're already familiar with Inspector you may not need this tutorial but I'm going to go ahead and show you what you can do with Inspector. So basically let's look at the template here and let's look at some things here. So we've got all this here and let's say we want to change the font size of this right here this title so you will just right click with your mouse and you will inspect the element and inspector will open here is what inspector is going to show you it's going to show you that you've got an h3 here and this h3 has a color, 3333, and a font size of 26. So let's go ahead and do a test. Let's make this font size 14. And as you see here, it's now 14. Now that's not going to save to your website. So what we want to know is where does this font size come from? So let's look. Right there, it's telling us <clears throat> that it is in typo. The last thing you see is typo, and that means it's in typo CSS. So pretty much so, most of what is in the typo and in the style files are parameters in the template. So without even going into the CSS, you can change that. Let me show you this real quick. So we're going to go over to our administration panel of our Joomla installation and we're going to go to our template manager and now we're going to select the Quix template in our template here we have the typography settings and right here is our h3 that's the 26 picks so you can change that right there now let me give you another example here see this reddish orange color button let's go ahead and inspect that okay now let's pull the inspector window in and we're gonna see the articles main article button see there's the color right there and that's in 201 of style 1 okay so if you go into 201 of style 1 let me open up an editor here we're gonna go ahead and use Dreamweaver so we're gonna go over here to the templates folder we're going to open up the Quicks folder and we're going to go to CSS and we're going to go to style one. Now we've opened style one and let's go back and take a look and it's going to tell us that it's on line 201. So let's scroll down here to line 201. and you're gonna see the background is PHP echo params base color one okay anytime you're gonna see that that means that it's a parameter in the template so you can just change it right there in the template if you don't want to use a parameter and you want to hard code just take this out and put your hex color value in and you're done but to make things simple here this is base color one so let's go back to the template manager and let's go back to the style settings and let's go to style one okay base colors base color one there it is right there you can change it and it will change here and what that's going to do with this that's going to change all of that color here so it's really easy to go ahead with our templates and change a color to make a whole color style so let's go ahead and look at say this text here let's inspect this okay as you see that's a P class so let's go over here to inspector again 
and let's inspect and see that it's a P and we've got a margin bottom on it we have the font family the line height Open it up click on that and so basically it's inheriting the P class now you can go ahead and do things like this um, in the element up here you can go ahead and say font size 48 x and now if we look now the font is big so where would you add that CSS let me show you something else that's really good about our templates let's go back to our editor to Dreamweaver here and let's go ahead and pull up the template CSS as you see, the template CSS is empty. This file is meant for your overrides. So what you would want to do is, if you want to override that P class there, let's go back here and let's inspect that once again. And let's go ahead and take our element off here. Turn that off. See, it removes it there, so there's no P style on it. So let's go ahead and see what is the outer wrap on all of this. Okay, it's the text wrap. As you see, it's highlighting the beginning and down here the end. So what you would do, since that's a class, is you would just say text wrap and go back to the editor. Say dot text wrap p font size 48 px and just to make sure that it overrides anything else you might want to go ahead and put an important on that okay so there's an override and you might be wondering why did I go ahead and do it there in template CSS instead of in typo or in another file well we left this template CSS blank for you so you can go ahead and put all of your custom CSS in there so if we release an update for the template Here's the great thing about it is you can update the template without losing any of your markup and your custom CSS. All you'll have to do is before you reinstall the template in the back end of Joomla, you'll download this template CSS file. When the new template uploads, it'll upload all the files and it'll upload an empty template CSS. So then you just have to overwrite this CSS file with over the empty one and you're done. This is going to be a real big time saver for you. And if you have something that's not working in the override, you want, might want to go and make sure that there's not an important on it before and basically go ahead and copy everything into this template CSS file that you're going to do in the CSS. But like I was showing you before, most of the CSS stuff, as far as colors and things like that, you can actually do in the template administrator. So let's go to another page here. Let me give you some more examples. Okay, so here we've got these, the category and everything. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the element. And you're going to see it's blog text. Okay. And we can open this div cat title h2 cat item category font size 12. Where is that? that's in the default CSS on line 135 so if you're wondering how to find the CSS in our templates and find out how to edit something that's exactly how you do it and like I stated before inspector works with Chrome Safari the latest versions of Internet Explorer and most of the most common browsers so I hope this helped you find the CSS that you were looking for and edit it if you still haven't found a solution, you can go ahead and send us a support ticket.